So as we roll into the new year and it is January and February and we're heading into March, there are a lot of slow periods you may see in your Etsy and print on demand business. I know personally for my own Etsy and print on demand business, usually the first two quarters of the year are the slowest for myself. And this is when I really look to creating some cash injections in my business by creating products that are centered around certain seasonal niches, such as Valentine's day and easter and with that being said this video is going to be specifically centered around one of what i believe is the most profitable quarter one niche which is saint patrick's day guys so with that being said the reason why this is such a profitable niche is even making designs for t-shirts that just have a shamrock on it i have seen that have sold over 10k in revenue on etsy in itself and with that being said when we're talking about revenue as far as profit margins for t-shirts go generally if you're pricing correctly and at best you'll see 10 to 20 percent in profit margins in t-shirts which is about one to two thousand dollars in profit in your Etsy business alone when it comes time around March. So that is a really great cash injection for your Etsy and print on demand business. And that's why I love making these tutorials in the right time so you can scale your stores on Etsy and get some sales during February. So guys, with that being said, we're going to hop onto my laptop and create some designs that are pulled from inspiration from some of the best-selling previous St. Patrick's Day designs that we will look at in this video today. So we're going to hop right on, hop right on. Why did I say that? Why am I like hop right on? Like we're bunnies following each other. We're just going to go to my laptop. I'm going to stop this here. Don't forget to subscribe, by the way. I keep forgetting to say that. I feel like there's a lot of repeat viewers on my channel that have not subscribed. I see you people. Subscribe, like the video, show this to more people as my goal in 2023 is to help as many stores as humanly possible to grow to the five to six figure mark in their own Etsy and print on demand businesses, whether it's through my free trainings online or even if you want to support me and also do any of my digital items or products that I sell, such as my print on demand academy course. And then I also have a few different types of digital calendars that I sell to support your businesses. So anyways, guys, we're just going to hop onto my laptop here. I'm going to stop talking about bunnies and hopping, which I guess Easter is coming soon too. So maybe we can hop next month. Let's just do that next month, guys. Let's hop next month. <laughs> Alrighty guys, now that we're on my laptop, we are going to do our market research first with Everbe. So the first thing that we're going to do is we are going to look up St. Patrick in the keyword search. So this is what I really like about Everbe and what's unique to this Chrome extension. If you search St. Patrick's, you will get shirt populated and it shows you the monthly searches. So 600 plus searches, there is 20,000 for St. Patrick's Day, 4,000 monthly searches for just St. Patrick's. So I'm just going to do the top search term and this will populate what has sold in the past years what may be a bestseller now now with that being said i am looking at saint patrick's day t-shirts on the off season i'm filming this in december so what we're going to see now will not have that bestseller badge on it until february and march but we can spy on the old types of bestsellers by just looking at everbee's data so as we can see some items that pop up will be newer items that don't have any history on Etsy yet. So what I like to do is I like to click on estimated total sales at the top here and this will filter and show us the best sellers. So this is a best seller from last year that had well over 10 grand a month come February and March. So if I look at the product analytics, you'll see that it's already still having $1,000 in estimated monthly revenue. And with that being said, it has total sales of 1,724 total total sales. This listing has been up for one year and 10 months. So it has been a bestseller for two years now, which is really cool to see. Usually during February and March, this t-shirt ranks on top of many other t-shirts, but this is also a handmade t-shirt. So again, if you had a handmade business, you could do this and do the glitter types of t-shirts as the seller has here. But this is not a print on demand item, by the way, I do want to preface that, but this is such a simple 
design, guys. You don't have to go crazy and do crazy things here. You could just have or draw your own shamrock, not to copy this directly ever. We do not want to copy anyone directly, but if you were to do maybe a few shamrocks or maybe a saying in a shamrock, that would be really cute and something that could sell during St. Patrick's Day instead of what we saw there. Now the second item I wanted to show you all is this shamrock leopard rainbow type of t-shirt. And when we do the product analytics, this has an estimated monthly revenue of 1000 right now. Again, this is in December. It's having $1,000 in sales and total sales is 1000 total sales. Listing age is 11 months. So this is what was a bestseller in 2022, which is really cool to see that this is just such a simple and basic design that you can create with with just a leopard type of shamrock in the middle and a shamrock type of rainbow. So here are just some more ideas for what you could design for in Rankin as we go into 2023. So another item I wanted to show is this shenanigans coordinator. I think it's just such a cute and funny type of t-shirt, especially maybe if you're in a group and you're having a party for St. Patrick's Day and maybe you're the host of a party. I think that is just such a great idea. And it's just a very simple and basic t-shirt that's just super, super cute. So all these are just really great ideas to kind of think about and go off of as you design for St. Patrick's Day. But generally just doing simple types of shamrocks and things like that can really sell during this holiday as well. So with that being said, I wanted to hop on Creative Fabrica. And by the way, there is a all access trial in the links in the description below. I would recommend signing up for that because you can get so many different print on demand usage types of graphics and fonts with Creative Fabrica that you really can't get anywhere else. You can get it from other places. One of the downsides of using Canva is usually Canva has more of a basic print on demand usage license. So if you want to use any graphics in Canva, you cannot use them by themselves because you do have to alter the graphic in some way. And that could be by adding a font over the graphic or with the graphic or even adding two graphics together. So that's something I think about a lot. And one of the reasons why I like using Creative Fabrica just to use a lot of their full print on demand usage graphics. So with full print on demand usage graphics, you can just use the graphic by itself on a t-shirt. If maybe you really just feel like you don't have the design skill. I think it's really great to use from time to time. However, I will say there's going to be a lot of people on Etsy doing the same thing as you. So that is one thing to kind of shy away from and create your own graphics, your own intellectual property and full print on demand usage right by creating your own types of designs. So it's kind of what you're feeling like if you really feel like you don't have the design background and skill. Creative Fabrica is a really great place to go. If you feel like you can design things that are different than the rest, I suggest just sticking to Canva and doing that as well. So anyways, besides that long talk about this, I wanted to go over different different designs that Creative Fabrica has. So as you can see, they have this really nice Lucky type of shamrock. I think that is really cute, very beautiful. So Lucky Mom is another good one for people who have kids and they want to show that they're a mom. They identify with the mom niche and they're passionate about that. I think that's really cute. So I'm just looking down the list here. They even have a lot of rainbows that you can use. So you can create your own rainbow in Canva, or you can also do a rainbow here and download what they have to offer. So I think this is a super cute little gnome and this is a full print on demand usage license. So that is a really good sign for this. So I'm just gonna download that. I think that's one of them that I will use for this specific video. So now I'm gonna go over to Canva. Now I'm gonna create a design and I am going to do 5,000 by 5,000, which is already preloaded for me. So this is gonna get us the highest resolution possible for this design today. So I'm going to drag and drop that download that I just brought over from Creative Fabrica. So this is just a little gnome. So what's really nice about this is you can do a whole lot of things with something that just says lucky at the top. This is what I like to do to make my designs a little bit unique in niche specific. So if we were thinking of maybe the teaching niche, we could do lucky teacher. So this is kind of a really fun type of Creative Fabrica graphic we could use. And I will link it down below if anyone wants to use it as well. But I am I'm going to put lucky and then just teacher underneath it. 
And then I'm just going to find a really nice type of script font that we can add in. So on top, I'm going to add in one as well, just to make it kind of unique. Add just a little bit more words. Again, separate this from other designs that are out there. I am pretty happy with that and what we kind of have going on here. So there's just something about this design that it's kind of hard to read. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to edit the script still again because I want to make it so it's easier to read. I don't know. It's just one of those things you see it and it's like, hmm, maybe I should edit that a little bit. So I kind of like this type of wider font. It shows a lot better on this type of design. So I'm going to make this just a tiny bit larger. I feel like I'm still not happy with this. I don't know what it is. It feels like there's some font that's going to look better. I kind of like the shoelace look. The more I look at this, I really like the shoelace with this. So, okay. I'm happy with this now. So at the very end of this, I'm going to add in a little pencil. I think that would be really cute to just add into this little design here. So I do like doing the pencils that you can kind of change the color on. So this pencil, I will change this to maybe a green. I think I want to match what we have going on. So I think that would be real cute just for a teacher niche type of font and style. So I might move this teacher over just a smidge so it kind of just all fits together. And yeah, I love how this design came out. So I'm, I'm just going to do one more design with you guys. And then that is going to be it for this design tutorial. So I am also going to do a rainbow. I think the boho rainbows are very in. They have just been trending for a really long time. And people just can't get enough of them, even though this has been a trend for the past few years. So I am looking for a rainbow that I can edit the colors of. So some of these rainbows, you can edit the colors, other ones, not so much. And maybe I'm just not finding that rainbow that you can edit the colors of. Maybe I am making things up because I thought there was a rainbow you could edit, apparently. Okay, we're going to go back on that idea. There is not a rainbow I can edit. So we're going to just do a rainbow, a boho rainbow. So guys, if we're doing our own boho rainbow, I wanted to do it just slightly different than the ones we saw before. So we want to make this our own again, especially with Canva. We need to still add in some elements for our rainbow today. So what's really nice is we can edit the colors so it is that St. Patrick's Day kind of feel. And then what I'm going to do is I am maybe going to add in a little cloud and then I will do maybe like a pot of gold. I think that would be cute just to add in as part of our little boho rainbow. I don't know if that really is as boho though considering that we're kind of going for that specific niche. So I'm going to edit this just lightly to make it a little bit different of a color. I think doing kind of a mint green type of feel, I don't know. I feel like that just looks really cute to me. Maybe I'll add the pot. I don't even know where to add the pot. Maybe I shouldn't have the pot in. I don't know. What do you guys think? The problem is this isn't a live video. So like I can't ask that. I'm going to add in a shamrock in the center of this little cute boho rainbow we have going on. I'm going to take out these little kind of things that are in this and I might move this down a little bit. Maybe I'm going to take the pot of gold out, you know, make this design what resonates best with you. This is the part of designing that if you're following this video and designing with me, make the boho rainbow unique to your store because these can really differ. So what's really cool is there's a leopard shamrock and I really love that, but I don't know if that's going to print well, so I might just not do that. But again, that's idea for anyone who's looking for a little bit of different inspiration. So what I'm going to do with this, I think I'm gonna do the little shamrocks kind of going around the rainbow. I don't know if I like that shamrock though. I'm gonna look and see. Ooh, I love that. I love that it's like three in a pair. I can kind of put up and then I'm going to position this behind. Copy, paste. So I'm just gonna rotate this up the rainbow. 
and then at this rainbow area, I'm just gonna invert it. I'm gonna delete that shamrock. We don't want that shamrock. I'm sorry, shamrock. I'm sorry, we're deleting you. Okay, so I'm pretty happy with this, but as I'm looking at this design, one thing that I noticed that maybe some of you watching this noticed is that the clouds are super light shade. And if we put this on a white t-shirt or a black t-shirt, it's just not gonna come out right. So I either have to darken these shades or lighten this middle shade, which I think my best bet is to lighten the middle shade a little bit so it turns out on a darker t-shirt so i'm gonna do just that color instead so if we put this on a darker t-shirt it will show hopefully fingers crossed i'm gonna darken this just a tiny bit so we can kind of go on a lighter t-shirt and also a darker t-shirt so i'm going to edit the colors that is not the right one Okay, so I think that's perfect. And I'm going to click on share. I'm going to download and I'm gonna show you how I would put this on a t-shirt. So the type of t-shirt that a lot of people don't think about is the baseball t-shirts on Printify. I think they're super, super cute. Those types of three, four t-shirts. So this is kind of what I'm talking about when I'm talking about these types of t-shirts. Moody Mox sells them. They have a really cute Bella and Canvas 3200 type of baseball t-shirt. Words are just not working with me today, by the way. If anyone's noticed that, no one's probably noticed that because my editors are fantastic and they cut out me missing like everything like everything, every single second. It's, so this is the Bell and Canvas 3200 that I'm talking about when I'm showing the Kelly type of baseball t-shirt. So Awkward Styles carries this, Print Geek in Canada carries this, and also Stakes Manufacturing. So there's three different warehouses and print teams that have this Kelly Green type of t-shirt. So I'm going to go on a separate screen and I'm gonna buy this and then we're gonna put both for design on this t-shirt. I think this is a really cute t-shirt when it comes to St. Patrick's Day and just something that's really unique to sell on your Etsy store and stand out and be different than the rest of the people who are just going to be selling the Bell and Canvas 3001. That's what I urge everyone to do is always try to find different products to sell. Just because the Bell and Canvas collared type of t-shirt really sells all year round, you can still get sales in other ways with different types of products as well. So I'm going to buy this real quick and I'm going to show you this design in this mock-up and how I would set this up. It's gonna take a while. I'm gonna make sure I'm still recording. It's getting super dark in my place too which like really really dark right now and it's kind of spooking me. I'm kind of spooked little bit spooked right now. Feels like I'm not filming. I'm just, you know, chilling and I'm also recording and my editor's probably like, Heather, what are you doing? Why? And that's okay. I appreciate all the work my editors do because I am very awkward and they make me less awkward. And that's what, you know, you need it in your life. People who make you less awkward. So I'm going to drag and drop this mock-up over. So first I'm going to download the PNG file. I'm going to download it as a transparent we're going to download these and then I'm going to upload my mock-up. We're going to add in our mock-ups here. So now I'm just going to drag and drop those designs I just downloaded over. Alrighty, so this is the fun part is putting our mock-ups down. So I'm just going to resize this and make this tinier so it fits on this mock-up and it looks realistic to how it will print. So as I'm doing this, I am realizing that this is a very light print and it will not work for this specific design because when it prints, it's going to look more like this. So for this specific design, I would not use on a Etsy listing. So sometimes some of these videos are very educational for those of you who are just starting out. Certain light colors on direct-to-garment printers over a white or over a black can get faded. So direct-to-garment printing is a method where ink is infused into the t-shirt fibers. So when these types of designs are printed on a white and the ink is super light, that can blend into the t-shirt fabric and it could not print vibrant. So that is something to think about when you are designing. So one lucky teacher I would put on 
on this type of t-shirt because there are a lot of bright and darker elements. So we have the black that will print very nicely. And then if we take the transparency down, generally I like to take it down to 80%. I feel like that looks very realistic to how it will print. And that is essentially it for this type of print. So I would keep it like so. And then for the rainbow design, I would put that on a dark heather gray bell end canvas 3001 as well so as i was just talking about bashing the bell end canvas 3001 what i do want to say is it does have a lot of nice colors and i have sold a lot of the bell end canvas 3001s i just personally would not recommend it if you're trying to stand out from the crowd and break through market saturation. I think a lot of people sell the same things on Etsy. And while you can kind of learn what is selling and that the Bell and Canvas does sell, sometimes if you want to start a store, especially in this year, and stand out from the crowd, have a lot of scalability in your Etsy and print on demand business, I think having different products that aren't t-shirts can help you scale quicker than having just a bunch of t-shirts on your store. So besides that, here is how the rainbow would look on a dark heather. And again, we want to take that transparency down quite a bit because it's not going to look like that in person. It's going to be a lot faded and more of this type of vibrancy. So at the end of this video, that is basically how I would design for St. Patrick's Day. As far as SEO goes, as you can see with a lot of this SEO, it's shamrock leopard rainbow which this doesn't have leopard so i wouldn't necessarily put leopard but you can do saint patrick's day vintage saint patrick's day cute saint patty's day tea i know there is a discrepancy with patty and patty so with the d d or the tt some people misspell it so you kind of have to rank for both seos as you can see this bestseller has a saint patrick's day they have saint patty's with two t's they have saint patty's with two D's as in dog. So those are things to think about as well as you're doing your SEO. You want to misspell whatever your version of misspelling St. Patty's Day is in your SEO. That's something to think about. And it's really nice on Everbee that you can actually copy all of the SEO here and you can paste that into your tags on your Etsy listing as you're creating it as well. Alrighty guys, but besides that, this is the end of this tutorial. Don't forget to subscribe, get Everbee in the links in the description below. There is a free plan to use it. Also, I am running a free live webinar training where I go over how to earn your first 10K with Etsy and print on demand. I give some very valuable information in that live training and I do answer a lot of your questions during that live training as well. So don't forget to join me in that down below. Besides that, I will see you all in my next video here and don't forget to stick around for that blooper reel because you guys know one is coming i'm gonna repeat that i feel like i sound silly what am i saying i'm gonna repeat that they have a really cute bell and canvas 3d i can't say the word we're gonna repeat that don't forget i'm i don't even have to say it also i'm gonna repeat the end part